What's up? Got a can set here on the bench. Let's uh let's figure out what it is. It's a pretty tout. The putty tat. No, a pretty tout. Um it says black titanium coated 154 black micarta, about three and a half inch blade. I, I have no idea what this is. I'm completely lost. I'm guessing secondary market. This doesn't appear new to me. Okay, so that's a putty tat. I mean, a predator. And let's get rid of all this. Pred, predator, predator, predator. Now I'm confusing myself. Putty tat. Come on, man. Predator. Here we go. I mean, hmm. Hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, What does that say? Cameron? Kmaxrom. Kmaxrom design. Predator. Okay. I mean, definitely interesting, right? It's got this uh, really nice micarta that's been milled titanium pocket clip. 154 cm steel liner lock maybe that's a bolster lock Ooh, that's kind of stiff i mean it's a liner lock pretty stiff on the on the unlock and it's kind of stiff there interesting very snappy there's no way that I could fail that. I mean, I could test it already. I've functioned the knife three times, and yeah, there's no way that fails. It's got a solid detent. The thumb is a little difficult. Not bad. There. What about Spidey Flick? Nope. There it is. Woo! Took everything I had to get it, though. It's got some fullers. Both sides. Yeah, that's a that's a dream right there. That one too. I mean, all in all, this thing's running pretty pretty well. The thumb stud and the spidey flick. This spidey flick right here. Oof. Mm. Yeah, it's taking some effort. Interesting. 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 Back flipper, I mean, it throws it out there, shaking it in my hand. It comes out like assisted, you know, just snaps out. I'm guessing a titanium collar, maybe aluminum. Cancep Predator. centered blade the uh, drop action before I even touch the knife tune it so, you know it's basically fall shut drop shut stone wash blackened stone wash blade <clears throat> same thing on the liners the liners don't look to be skeletonized weight reduced in any way uh, same stone wash looking finish on them let's get in this thing come on check it in proper Mm-hmm. We're a little backwards. Screw come out the wrong side. As far as I'm concerned, that's the wrong side. But the whole world doesn't revolve around me, man. Right? Isn't it funny? When we're younger, we do think that that's the case, though. I definitely thought that was the case when I was a younger man. The world revolved around me. Pretty dry in here. Not a lot of lubrication, if any. Yeah, look at the bearings just fell out completely dry. I mean, I think we're going to be able to improve this action a little bit. I want to look at this pivot. There's absolutely no reason in the world why I can't come from this other side. 
Yeah. Yep. So we can reverse all this and build top down. Mm, wondering if I want to take a little bit off of that. I think I do. Just a tiny little bit off of it because I can I can see it's way over there. There's a lot of detent going on there and I think I can just slide that over just a tiny little bit. Like that right there. I'm not going to go anymore. Alright, well let's wipe it all down. I don't see any lubrication I'm wiping off, but <clears throat> we'll wipe down the dryness of it. Looks like there's something on here. Beautiful stonewash finish. Follows through on the scales, same finish. Blackened antique stonewash. Yeah. Mm, I think I'll scrub the bearings. Big bearings. There's a little dirty. My guess is what I'm seeing here, just a little bit coming off on the towel. It's that stonewash coating, that finish. A little bit coming off. All right, let's build up. Oop, how about a collar? Is that magnetic? No. Nope. I'm going to say titanium. But could be aluminum. Be weird if it was. Mm mm mm. It feels like it's going to be pretty, pretty smooth. Stop pin. Other bearing. A little bit on that detent ball track. And I think I'm going to try to sandwich this together and go down at the same time. Yep, just like that. Love it when a plan comes together. Love it. Uh, I think this was a T6. Yeah. Let's check that action before we go any further. Very smooth, but I, I think I'm over tight. Boy, if I was, it wasn't by much. Checking my lock up. I mean, I better check it. I'm looking at it. I'm not convinced that we're good. Okay. Pretty, pretty smooth, man. I'm not going to mess with it no more. I think I could probably take a little more off that detent because it is still super snappy. But you know what sometimes good enough is good enough this micarta is really nice on this pretty tout Okay. 
Mm-mm-mm. Smooth. Wonderful. Yep. And then that fuller. Yeah, it's a dream. Excellent action. I mean, I'm going to call it A minus. I mean, it's definitely an A action. It's just, it's taking a little coaxing to get down, but man, is it smooth. I still think the detent's a little strong. Yeah, I mean, wow, it really pops out there. And if I took a little bit off that detent, I think uh, I think it would run a little better. But, man, it's running good. Let's talk about the ergonomics. So, the shape, this, this uh, finger scallop here to get that index finger in there. You've got not so confident, confident, and very confident. And this knife will run itself right up towards very confident grip. Super locked in. It's got some jimping, nice platform for the thumb there. And then these other three fingers just lock into that grip right there. It presses up in the palm. Yeah, very confident grip here. Wonderful. The reverse grip on it is just as nice. Very good. Yeah, I dig it. Excellent ergonomics. The pocket clip basically was disappeared in there. Let's see if it runs. Thick material, yeah, all the way home. Nice stonewashed black titanium pocket clip, less than a quarter of an inch sticking out. It's got a great finger hold to grab onto. Thinner material, mm, the tension's maybe a little lacking there. I wouldn't call it a dryer clip, and I think that if I ran, yeah, see, this knife could pop out of there, and uh, I could put a little tension on that. I think I will. Okay, I think I got the tiniest little bit of curve in there. I used a towel and tried to bend it like that. Really didn't want to kind of grab it with anything, so we'll see. Uh, however it lands, I'm going to be satisfied with it. I'm not going to do no more to it. Um, it's really short, really stiff, so I'm not sure if I actually added any tension to it. I think I did. I could feel it flexing, but did I actually bend it? That's the question. The titanium's not as pliable as that spring steel, man. It's tough stuff. There's a reason why knives are made out of it now. All right, let's check it again. Thick stuff. Yeah, it's tighter. I can tell. How about the standard jean size material? Yeah, it's holding on much better. I did bend it a little bit. I think if I shake that, yeah, I mean, it moved a little bit, but it's definitely tighter, so... I. I could work it more and get it to really be a dryer clip, but it's pretty stout. Nice ramps on both sides. Easy in and out both ways. Um, let's check it for safety. Oh, that's action. Wow. Um, blade contact. None through the scales. The tip. Oh, man, was the tip close. Here, I'll share it with you. Look at that tip. And there's my finger. Oh, man, was that close. But clip's good, tip's good, and no incidental contact coming between them scales. So feel confident to put it in my pocket. I'm not going to cut myself or poke myself. I um, wonder if it's sharp. Nice, tall, flat grind blade. Yeah, come on. Don't got to go past that proving grounds right there. Pretty good stuff. Sticky. Yeah. Like it. Very nice. Um, price and availability. Man, are these out there? And if so, what do we got to pay for one? Uh, Cansep Predator. Let me see what I can find. Okay, so there's a titanium version. It's got titanium scales and S35BN steel. And uh, it's readily available. It's in the 190-ish range. Um, 
Then there's a lower model with the same 154 cm that's got G10 scales and it's in the 70 to 80 dollar range. And then this micarta version, a couple of different colors, they are in the high 80, so right at like 90 dollars is what I'm seeing for these. So yeah, and they're all available. So yeah, give them a search, you'll find one for sure. Um, overall, I think it's a pretty cool knife. It's got good ergonomics, very comfortable in the hand. I mean, it'd be a nice piece to throw in a pocket. All three deployments work really well. I say three, but it's way more than three. It's got a spidey flick. It's got a thumb flick. It's got a back flipper. Then it's got a thumb flick on the fuller. Spidey flick on the fuller. Nice. Yeah, pretty, pretty nice. All right, Cansep Predatout, 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 I don't know, whatever that is. I appreciate y'all watching.